What's up guys, welcome to Nymphforge. This video is a tutorial on bandages. The supplies you will need are fabric, scissors, and a ruler. And if you want to add some extra drama, crimson fabric paint, and some gloves. Spread out your fabric onto a flat surface. I measure my bandages out to be approximately two and a half inches wide. Once measured, cut the full length of the fabric. Once you cut off the long strip, you have your first bandage. Repeat until you have as many bandages as you want. The type of fabric in which you use is completely up to you. You can choose something that's on sale or something that's a natural fiber. It completely depends on what your own personal preferences are. My own personal preferences are an off-white natural fiber, usually cotton, linen, or some kind of light gauze fabric. Now that we have some nice clean bandages, we can add some drama. Fabric paint is one of the few things I have found that doesn't continue to stain clothing and costume items later after it is dried. So I find it works perfectly for stage special effects that you can prepare ahead of time. The application is simple. You just put on your gloves, put some paint on your fingertips, take one of your bandages, and apply the paint. You can do a big blob in the center, fingerprints all over the place, some, a little, a lot. Again, it is completely up to you. I like to leave a few inches of clean bandage just so that when I have it rolled up in my pack, it looks like it's clean before I apply it. You do want to be careful you don't leave any large globs of paint on the fabric as it'll stiffen whenever it dries. I do like to run my fingers across the fabric one last time just to make sure all the paint is spread out evenly. Now just hang your bandages out to dry and make your neighbors question what you do in your free time. Bandages are a very versatile prop, but not just for your medics and healers. They are very much a utility item. Yes, they are great for representing injuries, but they could also be used as markers on a trail to keep you from getting lost. They could be used as bindings for a captive. As always, you are only limited by your imagination.